If your ads are continuously failing even after testing new creators offers, then this video is for you. We have faced this with several brands. Some brands have come to us with exact problem which are facing right now and we were able to resolve it within 90 days. It is not a 100% success rate, but yes, majority of times we have able to. There are nine common blunders that you might be know unknowingly making that is causing the ROAS drop. Let's get started. First on product. Failure to identify in the initial stage why are customers buying this product is a primary concern. The assuming something uh, is uh, that is working in a particular creative is not the solution. Why are customers buying the product should be the solution here and talking to customers who have ordered the product and who had abandoned the cart will give you perspective of what is lacking in the product and what is good in the product. What is good can be communicated better in a creative and what is lacking can be built upon in a different set of creatives so that you can convince a new set of customers there. So try to find out and nail down why are exactly customers buying this product. Is it because of the design? Is it because of the particular hair type this product solves for? Or is it because of the season the product has? Because it has nothing to do with your creative. It is more of because the tailwind is a season. Creative is like a billboard for an existing demand. It's not generating any new demand there. Number two, wrong product selection for running on ads is a very, very critical aspect which helps, which actually complex, uh, com compromises the ROAS efficiency on everything on the ad account. We try to use a Leo framework which we have internally developed, which we have internally created, not developed. Uh, least edu LE stands for least education and HU stands for highly unique. So I want to market a product in ads that requires least education of what the product is and it has a highly unique set of features which I can market. For example, I need not educate customers about a face wash. People know what face wash is. I can just say them on the unique aspects of what this face wash is and how it can, how it can solve their problems and it will sell. Whereas if I were to market a very innovative product, I would require a lot of investment and capital to invest in ads and educate the customer of what the product does and then convince them to buy, which is a long down process which most D2C brands don't have it. So Leo framework is something that needs to be resolved for. Look at, try to look at products which are painkillers instead of vitamins. When you can all, it's very hard to sell a vitamin saying that it will help improve your health. That is why there are so many less gym goers in India. Whereas it is very easy to sell a, a tonic or something where it cures fever immediately or it cures uh, diarrhea immediately. So something like that. So try to be a painkiller, try to market a painkiller product. Then also look at unit economics of the product, the seasonality of the product and what is competition doing. Everything matters, but at least for the start, use the Leo framework. Next, on the creative side, what are some mistakes which can be unknowingly made? Trying too hard on creators hook is a very bad procedure to follow on optimizing your creators. Instead, try to optimize your messaging. Try to optimize what you're communicating to the brand instead of optimizing for that two second or three second hook. Instead of grabbing more eyeballs, try to see how you can convert the eyeballs you've already grabbed into more customers. That should be the objective because if messaging is clear, people will come back again and again. If the hook is clear, I might forget it in the next five minutes when I see another ad or another video. I don't remember hooks. I remember the message as in the customer. Customer remembers the message in the ads. Messaging in a nutshell is a takeaway I should be taking away with when I have already watched the video. For example, if it's a face wash video, you are saying me again and again in the messaging that this is a natural active ingredient face wash. So that active ingredient as a messaging is something I will take away with me when I have already watched the video and when I want to face wash, when I want to buy a face wash. So that is what messaging is. Next, forgetting rule of one in image ads. The left side is a very poorly made image ad. On the right side, it's a very good made image ad. So what's the rule of one? You market one product to one audience with one message. One product is being followed in this image, but nothing else is being followed. Neither it is talking to one audience, nor it has a one message. It has a very vague message saying find one benefits. I don't know what the find one benefits are. Then it says skin loving ingredients. I don't know what skin loving ingredient is. So this is very obscure in terms of what is it's trying to convey. Whereas on the right, it clearly says that you can join the largest group of nursing groups and become a practical nurse. So it is one product which has become a practical nurse, one audience which is going after nursing groups and one message saying them train to be a practical nurse. Here nothing is there, here everything is clear. Clear sells, clever never sells. Next, 
flipping the hierarchy of ads just to make it on brand is the worst mistake that can be done when you're running a creative or ad creative just because it's not on brand or that particular design element is not right should not be the way it should always be that product first then what is the audience it is going after next what is the messaging that will be there in that and then comes the design and copy your intervention as a brand team should be in the message and not in the particularly in the design and the copy of it most brand teams intervene in the design and copy aspect whereas in message lies very vaguely made and hence people not able to convert with good creatives next media buying and strategy some mistakes for small brands it is usually ca the case that we are seeing more and more they are remarketing which should not be the case whenever you are small brand you should be acquiring new customers remarketing should be your least priority wherever whereas for large brands which are above 60 70 lakh revenue Remarketing should be a priority. It should not be a top priority. Still, your top priority is still acquire new customers. But remarketing should still be a priority here, wherein meaningful amount of attention should be given as to what products to remarket to a particular audience or uh, how can I remarket better. Everything. For example, if they bought a face wash, can I remarket them a particular face mask? So all those intricacies come into play when you are a large brand below above 60, 70 lakh of revenue. Next. inability to increase the aov is a critical aspect which needs to be counted upon for example everyone you hear says cpms are rising cacs are rising year on year but what do you do about it you do to try to increase the aov about it that is when you will be succeeding with it inability to increase the aov is a crippling many of d2c brands and shutting down because of it because they are not able to match with the rising cac okay cac is rising by 10% but can i increase by AOV by 16, 17% in that duration itself. Don't try to measure AOV every day. Try to measure week on week trends, month on month trends of how you are progressing forward towards the AOV. That should be the case. Next, sticking to just one funnel is a criminal aspect of marketing. It should not be just that one funnel you are sticking to. It, okay, you have one product; it is being well managed and everything is working. Okay, great. But try to build multiple doors to enter into your brand. Think of your brand as a kingdom of products. then try to build multiple doors don't have join constrain everyone to come from the same door into your brand store try to have multiple doors try to have multiple funnels one can be educational funnel one can be by seo they are coming one can be organic try to build on that next thank you thank you for watching